Jeff and Michael bought a tub of ice cream each at the park. The amount of ice cream in each tub is not the same. Jeff's ice cream has a bigger scoop, while Michael's ice cream has a smaller scoop. Jeff's ice cream has a larger volume, and Michael's ice cream has a smaller volume. But what is volume? Volume is the total amount of space occupied by an object. Volume is measured using measuring tools and is expressed in suitable units. The volume of a carton of milk is expressed in milliliters. The volume of a water bottle is expressed in liters. Let's understand more about the units of volume using a cube. A cube is shaped like a box with sides of the same length. A cube with a side of one millimeter has a volume of one cubic millimeter. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back in science class. Why you boys and girls? Okay, alhamdulillah. Before we start our lesson today, let me remind you what we had learned on the previous lesson. Okay, on the previous lesson we had learned about first, matter is everything around us. Second, we also had learned that matter can exist in three different states. Solid, liquid, and gas. And we also have learned that matter is made of particles. Yes, particles. Particle is very small part of something. And we also have learned that particles of solid, liquid, and gas are like, like this. I'm sure that all of you still remember about this. Okay? And today we are going to learn about how to solid, liquid, and gas behave. We are going to learn about properties of solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, let's start with a solid. Does a solid have developed a fixed volume? For example, I have a gas in here, and you may you can find solid in your room. And then try pressing it. Try pressing it. Just try it. Does it become smaller? No. Its volume and shape does not change, right? So the properties of solid, they have definite shape and volume. Okay. Maybe some of you have question. What about this sponge, Mister? Right? A sponge is solid, but why we can compress it easily? Right? Why we can compress it easily? It happens because the sponge contains a lot of air. When we compress it, the air is squeezed out. So, actually, the sponge, the shape and the bond does not change. Can see it. The volume of the liquid remains the same even though we pour it in different container. So the properties of liquid are it has no definite shape, it has definite volume, and it can flow. 